everybody, this is Praxis. It is 90 degrees outside, and if I did not have that vent that I installed last year, it'd be awfully hot in this greenhouse, and the chickens would be really suffering for it. Today, I'm working on getting them out of this horrible thing. Oh, you probably haven't seen all this. No matter what called when I built the chicken coop, it had all chicken wire on the side, and uh, that's my bedroom window up there, and every morning, it was, uh, it was awful. So I ended up, well, there's a uh, foam all over the bedroom window and tarps and there's uh, plywood all over this. Um, but both for the chicken's benefit and for my own, we gotta get them the hell out of here because this has been pretty awful. Uh, you know, it's, it's been functional and it kept them warm during the winter, but it's been kind of awful. So this is what they're dealing with now. They've got their, their water here, the food's over there. They got their perch across the middle. And I just added these this morning, two nesting boxes. We had had just a, um, just an old orange bin. We're actually gonna walk right past it outside. An old orange bin that was um, kind of servicing as a nesting box. It actually worked pretty good, except they only had one of them and all the chickens wanted it at the same time. Uh, and they would fight over it and it was awful. So this is their outdoor enclosure area and their new, ch new coop is gonna be right down over here. We used the, uh, tractor to get a lot of this cleared. You see a couple of dirt piles around here. Uh, this is going to be where the new coop is going to be. It is going to be eight feet wide and 12 feet deep. The door is going to be here. We're going to cut down this uh, hillside a little bit. You'll enter into uh, the coop over here. Uh, that's going to be their run area. We're going to kind of fence it off. There'll be a, a door on the side of the coop somewhere around here. And uh, uh, I did the excavating on this yesterday using the tractor and now I'm kind of finishing it off with the shovel. I wanted to hire the same people that did all the other foundations here, you know, the house, the shed, and the root cellar. I wanted to hire them to do the foundation for this, but the, the price quote was just too high. I don't, I don't know why the price went up so much. Uh, I can get the materials to do this foundation for, uh, plus the floor, the slab. So all the foundation and the floor slab, I can get all that stuff for about $1,500 for the materials. Uh, they would be able to do it. Uh, the, the price they gave me was just under $7,000. So I can do it for $1,500. They could do it for $7,000. I just, you know, people deserve to be paid for their work, but I, I just can't justify that much extra expense uh, just for the labor. Uh, so I'm stuck doing the labor myself. Uh, I would have to do the excavating myself anyway, but um, uh, I'll, I'll also be doing the, uh, the concrete work. Concrete's not my favorite uh, job in the world, but I can totally do it. And uh, if I'm going to save, you know, more than $5,000 uh, doing it myself, I mean, it's going to take me a week or two. You know, if I get paid $5,000 for a week or two of work, that's a pretty good paycheck for me. Uh, the crazy thing is that the contractors, they would have been here for like, cumulatively like one day spread out over probably like three different days you know to set up the forms and this and that but you know they probably would be like two guys for eight hours and uh you know more than five thousand dollars for their for, just for their labor so so i'm doing it uh it's going all right um you know it's an eight by twelve foundation and uh the material is supposed to get delivered um tomorrow i know i haven't done these 360 videos in a while uh there's multiple reasons for that i'm not going to get into it now mostly it was just technical stuff i had to swap computers over and um i just got out got out of the habit but uh it's a hot day it's a great day to be out in the sun sweating doing a foundation that i wish i could hire someone else to do <laughs> that's it thanks for watching yeah slack flies